DPS is defined as damage per second, but in Genshin Impact, when you insert that acronym of DPS in front of a character's name, you're making a bold statement that within your team, that character should be doing the majority of damage to your enemies. Yangfei is a 4 star power DPS unit, meaning that compared to other 5 star power characters, she should be lackluster and not putting DPS. So with that being said, how does someone like you or me create the best DPS Yangfei in Genshin Impact? Do you just get a credit card and start swiping away until you get C6 and a 5 star weapon? Do you pray for mercy in order to get godlike artifacts? Do you study the game mechanics and outscale the game? Or is it all the above? Well, let us find out and see how to make the best Yangfei in Genshin Impact. I like to have a goal of taking down the Spiral Abyss, but unfortunately it is currently still shield breaking impact and that's just not my cup of tea. So for this video, I will show you my favorite team to put Yang Fei on, my current best build, and then taking down some beefy world bosses. So with that being said, let's start by showing off my favorite team. Now when like messing with a team with Yang Fei, I've tried doing some type of melt Yang Fei with like Iona and other crowd support and even adding Kazua. Our contract. But like it just didn't work out, there was not enough crowd application. The pyro is too strong and it just didn't work out it was like clunky and nasty like personally i prefer vaporize over melt and of course you gotta add shincho you can even add like sucrose or something bennett for sure and you may think mona's overkill as far as the hydro application but actually it makes this team or it makes yangfei vaporize way smoother and it kind of like thumbs down the gameplay and you don't have to worry about any type of swirling and lowering the resistance of pyro and you really don't need it because I'm choosing like constant vaporize over trying to like swirl pyro and like lower the resistance. And it actually makes the gameplay way smoother and way more consistent. And actually guys, honestly, when I was leveling up and maxing out Yangfei, this was the main reason why I C6 Bennett. Just so we can get 50% more power damage bonus. And since I do have like C4 Mona, C1 is the most important. We increase our vaporized damage with her burst and we're giving Yang Fei that extra damage bonus with her elemental burst and Shincho and Mono can just battery off of each other and you don't have to worry about anything. So let's just, we can just quickly like destroy Masanori and actually I don't know like if putting Mono on this team with Shincho like is even recommended. We can look at the Kashing mains right now in a bit to see what the heck they recommend and then um, you know we can just uh, we can just figure it out from there. But like I've already played like with Yang Fei before making this video and this is where like I've concluded to be my best looking team. And any team that has Mona in it, I definitely want to do that. Let's light it up! <laughs> Body and brain cutter. I'm going in! Delve into destiny. Decided by destiny. Motion to compel. Time for your arraignment. Dude, it's just like, it's not fair, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's not fair. Like, they just dead. He's just dead. I'm curious to know what the Kaching mains say about Yang Fei. Use the four piece set you have a better stats with. Okay, cool. Oh, I forgot Shimmy was a thing. Comparable to four piece Crimson and Wonder Stroop, even without bursting, but does not benefit from higher constellations. I have C6, so not good. Synergies. Chin Cho for sure. No Mona. Flex. Mona's our flex. Rose. Big funny hat. <laughs> That's a pro. Big funny hat. That's. Funny. Great option for players in early game. Yeah, but Yang Fei can be pretty correct if you max her out. I have C6. Whoa, interesting. Vaporize Yang Fei pros. Vaporize Yang Fei personal damage skills better at high investments compared to other builds. Yep. Use the entire of your kit. Yep. We we saw that. We saw that. As a buffer, Mona is far from ideal on a Vaporize Yang Fei team. What the frick? That's smooch. Like Sarah, she provides only brief buzz via her burst and thirty tails of Dragon Slayer. That Yang Fei, this character cannot front load her damage. Cannot utilize. Oh, smooch. They don't believe in the power of Mona. But you guys, uh, my community, I know you guys believe in the power of Mona. Let me know in the comments. Step up. Say Mona supremacy in the comments. They need to know. Like, I understand that. Like, if she's the only Hydra unit, yes. It is kind of sucky. It does suck because she does not provide that much Hydra application. I do understand that. But I really like her with Chincho. Guys, I just want to give you a friendly reminder to please like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell. So that way you know when my videos go up and when I go live. With your help, we can boost up the video for the algorithm because I want as many people to watch this as possible. And also, one last thing, if you want to go above and beyond, consider being a channel member. You get exclusive emotes on my channel and more. Thank you again and back to the video. So for Yang Fei's weapon, I think the best one has to be Lost Prayer Sacred Winds in my opinion. For artifacts, I'm thinking either, either four-piece Crimson Witch 
or four piece wanderers troop we'll try both builds let me just figure out what's my best builds and ratios for crimson witch and wanderers troop i farmed crimson witch a long time ago for my hutao from what i remember i have this goblet it's pretty good i'll give it to her which means that we can use something else as the off piece the only good sense piece we have is this elemental mastery it might be good we can try it out especially if we're gonna use like an attack percent circlet or something we'll see i think this is my best flower right here so that means we can either have this as an off piece or this is an off piece since we do have lost prayer we kind of want a crit damage circlet it's either this one with 8.9 crit rate or this one with elemental mastery and attack percent this one seems more appealing because it'll add to our like vaporize and melt and then we can make this the off piece what is my ratio right now 60 to 167 that's actually pretty good but i guess we can use either this one or this one as an off piece i guess this one and now our final ratio is 66 to 193 273 elemental mastery we can test our vaporize damage really quick just to see Sixty four K. Not bad, not bad. Let's just say we had to go with an attack percent sense piece. We make that switch. Our ratio is seventy one to one seventy three. Less crit damage, less EM, but more attack. Lost sixty four K earlier. I wonder what it will be right now. Fifty seven K. Well, that's way less damage way less vaporized damage so yeah for sure we'll stick with the other build so let me see how we're looking with my wander strip pieces this is my best flower for sure i've used it in the past and i believe i have a pretty good attack percent circlet here it is 34 crit damage value i'm sorry 34 crit value i don't think i have a pyro goblet actually i have this one this could actually roll good yeah we can try rolling it right now actually let's just see what happens we just want crit rate and i guess we'll take energy recharge but i don't want that AS1 ER, sure, we'll take it, maybe. Alright, it's Dej. I think that looks more like a Hutao piece or something, but I'm done. I don't even remember what is my best power damage goblet. Oh, actually, I have this one. What the heck? I think this one has like a 40-something crit damage value. Explains why it's on my Hutao right now. That one looks kind of sus. I think this one looks more like a Hutao goblet but i'm just going with this one for now so that's my off piece everything else has to be wander strip as this is unfortunately my best wander strip piece so I'll switch to that and i actually don't know if i even have a good wander strip circlet actually attack percent actually that one's pretty good this one sucks Good rate. what do i need i need crit damage right do i have any good crit damage ones i can roll maybe this one i mean what's my ratio right now let's just say um let's just say i put on this attack percent piece right that's all i got 99 to 115 dang that's actually a lot I might have to switch to like this one, this weapon. If I can get some crit damage. Oh shit, I don't know. Crit damage? Nope. Substats suck. What the heck? Those substats suck even more. This one has attack percent, which could be good, I guess. But everything else, unless this somehow miraculously rolls into crit rate and then like we just roll crit rate from there, right? Like five times in a row or something. Let's just see. Get a chance, get a chance. Nope, ditch. Now my only hope is like this rolling to like attack percent all the way. Is it possible? I mean, energy recharge not bad. And uh, looking kind of whatever. No, we'll just stick with the attack percent circlet. Looks like my best one. And it looks like since I have like a lot of crit rate on my circlets, like right there, right there, right there. Eh right there it's looking like i'm gonna have to go switch to either skyward atlas or agura but i'll switch to kagura for the crit damage our ratio is 66 to 181 i kind of regret it maybe i should have tested my charge attacks we can do that right now though i'm still gonna test my elemental skill damage and we can test our charge attack damage with the samurai guy i forgot his name but we'll go there in a bit 51k yeah definitely we're less masanori that's his name all right, let's see what we got here, what we got here. Wait, why do I have a quill of only on this guy? Oh well. Forty seven K? Was that it? And then we'll go back to our Crimson Witch and we want an EM. And I believe the flower was this one? Yeah, this was our build. Okay. Fifty-two K. All right, 
52. Yeah, this this build's way better than my Wonder Shroop. This is looking like the best build I have for my Yang Fei. Especially if we're just vaporizing. Alright, let's kill the perpetual mechanical array, the physical hypostasis. Let's kill that boy. Rain cutter. Huh? Oh, I'm going in. Let me scry. Written in the stars. Motion to compel. Inadmissible evidence. Huh. <laughs> Ooh, get out of my face. Yeah, this seems pretty cool. I think it works better for single target, for sure. If there's like a lot of mob enemies, and I guess that's where like Azu Boy comes in or some kind of animal character to group them up. But even then, I, I'm sure it'd still be okay. They'll still all die. We can kill this uh, Primo Vishar just to see. I wonder if we've done our weekly bosses. We can do, oh, look. Yeah, we can do some weekly bosses. Or farm for artifacts. I will figure it out. Let me just kill this guy really quick, okay? Alright. Let's uh, kill this guy. That's it. He's just dead. Oh my gosh. That face cracked. That's kind of spicy. What can we kill that has like a lot of health? Age the Hawk? Oh, Raiden Boss. That's right. That's right. Raiden Boss it is, boys. There's like a time where she just sits still, right? Time to let me read you a Out of my face, dude. My yank is cracked. What the? I don't even know what to say. Look at her smug smile. That's why I like this team. Constant vaporize. If you do the rotations correctly, dead dough. Oh, three pieces. Let's go. Okay. Yo, actually, what? Let's roll that right now. Okay. Okay. I can't tell if they were high or low rolls. I think they're mid, but okay. One EM and a high roll of crit damage. So we just need crit rate and that's it. We just need crit rate and that's it. We made it. I mean, I mean, it's not bad. Especially if we're doing like vaporize or burst. It's not bad. We still have like a 34% crit value. It's not bad. I mean, maybe I'm high on copium, but it's not bad at all. It's for sure. I think it's better than this one that I have on C21 compared to 11 crit damage. 6.6 .6 and then 6.2. Yep. Definitely an upgrade. Definitely an upgrade for sure. Heck, like for my melt Ganyu, this is definitely a big upgrade. Maybe I'm going to have to make like a DPS Ganyu video.